Hey everybody, this is LEGO Review 360 doing a LEGO Indiana Jones review of the fighter plane attack. It's ages 7 to 14, set number 7198, and it's 384 pieces. It's from the last crusade Indiana Jones movie. It's three minifigs, and I'll show you the back of the box after. This is my first Indiana Jones review, surprisingly. Um, I have a lot of Indiana Jones sets, but I guess I just never reviewed them, so... Here's your first review. This is one of my favorite, my favorite, personally, Indiana Jones set. Um, so, start with the minifigs. I'm going to move them back here a bit so I can show you. Okay, let's start out with... Let's get these other guys out of the way. The fighter pilot. He's wearing the German soldier uniform that you get with most of the Indiana Jones sets. He's got that revolver type pistol that you get with most of the sets. I don't really like it personally. I think you can because you can't hold his and hold it up here. It's pointed upwards. I don't really like that. Anyways, you get these goggles which are cool. Same. This is the exact same helmet as the one that you get with the Naboo M1 Starfighter Lego Star Wars set. Um, let's get that basic face. You know, it's nothing special. The uniform's cool though. You know, nothing on the back. So he's pretty cool. Next we'll do Professor Henry Jones, or Junior, yeah. Or Senior, sorry. Professor Henry Jones Senior. Um, I think you get him with the motorcycle one, too. He's got that, perf like, that explorer hat kind of thing. Um, it comes with a pistol. I just gave it to him. I guess on the box it shows him with a briefcase, so I guess he can do that, too. Uh, he's got this cool professor suity outfit. Nothing on the back, which is kind of disappointing. Um, plain goalie brown legs color. He's got a really neat face. If I can get a good focus on his face. It's hard to see. I'm sorry. He's got a white beard. It's quite cool. Sorry that it doesn't really... I have my old cameras. My new, my new better camera's getting fixed, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and here we have Indiana Jones. Nothing special since you get him in every Indiana Jones set pretty much. Um, I think you get him in every one. He's got the basic pants, which is neat with the pretty on the front. Nothing on the back. Let's go on the back of the torso. He's got that ruffled shirt, like dress shirt with a jacket around it. He's got his basic hat, his whip, and a briefcase, which is nothing in it. Nothing in that briefcase. It comes with another pistol, but I didn't give it to anybody. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so that's him. Nothing really special. And then, move on to, we have two planes to review. We have the, I'm just going to call it the biplane. And then I'm going to call it the German fighter plane, I guess. Because they're not really modeled after anything. Um, I don't know if this is, what this is actually supposed to be. I'm not, I, I haven't watched the movie in a very long time, so... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a, an ME-109 or what's going on with that, like a loosely based model of that. And I know this is from World War One, but they don't have the right symbol on it. It's kind of disappointing. You think they'd pay a little bit more attention to that. Anyways, um, I guess we'll do this one first because it's the first one you build. So I'm just going to move the other one out of the way here so it's easier to... more space. This is cool. It's a turret in the back. But anyways, I'm going to show you. Go front to back. It's got a moving propeller. So you can do that. The w it's got these wings with these supports. And it's fairly sturdy. Like, it won't... It's sturdy, you know? Like, the sturdy thing. Um, it's got a window. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like a little window there. And it's this flat piece of there and on the top. Um... You may think this is all one piece, but it's two of those pieces, and they're not new. Um, you got those, their silver version. I think this might be the first red version, but there's a silver version in the LEGO Agents Turbo Car Chase. Um, you're supposed to put Henry, uh, I think you can put Professor Henry Jones Sr. here, or Indiana Jones. I think in the movie it's Indiana Jones, so I always put Indiana Jones in here. And then Henry Jones, you know, the professor guy, whatever, I was going to call him Henry Jones Sr. sits in here and shoots the gun and really sucks at it and blows off the tail, which is another feature I'll show you after. Um, yeah, so the turret, it actually, 
with fire missiles on it. Or I'm pushing them, so push fire missiles, I guess I'll call them. Does a joke because they don't work very well. But these are cool, you know. You get a lot of these. If this is, if you're looking to get some of these pieces, buy this set because you get a fortune. Four there, two there, and four more there. And so I think that's it. Sorry, hit it with the camera. And you get yeah, so it's pretty good. And you get those cool stickers. They're kind of neat. And the thing in a bullet hole shooting. Not too many stickers with this set, which I like because I don't really like stickers. Anyway, so he shoots that, and then the tail blows off. I think that's one of the features. Pew. Blows off the tail. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's a neat display set. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do a. I might do a stop motion with it somehow. Green screen, plane flying, the sky in the background. It's got landing gear. I was disappointed that they didn't put landing gear in the back. Thought it would have been better if they did that. Anyways, that's it for the biplane one. There's a little bit more to review with that one. Not as much to review with this one. Just got a few less features. This plane only holds one person, which kind of sucks. I guess you could put somebody in there, but it, they wouldn't really fit. Take out the cockpit, and there's a computer and a joystick type thing. It's just glass here, well, plastic, see-through plastic, and see-through plastic here. There's a sticker on the back. It's just a cool metal thing, I don't know. There's the plane's number. And another plane number with some little bullet holes and stuff. It's got that kind of spiky out, like the one pieces, four of them on each side. Propeller spins. And put this back on. It goes like that. And the coolest feature of this is you push this down. Oh, goes the wings. It's really cool um, the way they do it. I can't really show you because it's all in here, but it's just, I don't even know how it really works. You, it's kind of weird because there's a whole bunch of orange and green and yellow pieces, or a whole, not a whole bunch, but there's a couple of them. It's really weird because you think it'd all just be gray, but um, they're mostly you know, some multicolored pieces. I'm trying to figure this out back. I'm just going to set the camera down. There we are. And uh, it's got these machine guns here. And it has flick fire missiles. Um, I guess I'll show you that. Show you way out of here. Um, see the flick fire missiles are right here. One, two. Same on the other side. I don't really need to show you. You know, they're flick fire missiles. Nothing new or anything. This set is pretty cool, though. I I don't know what I'd give it, actually. I'd probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. But the only thing that I wish they had done is, um... I don't know. There's not a whole lot, but I don't know. I, I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not... They should have made the planes a little bit bigger. The planes are... They're a good size, though. Like, you know, 60... Sorry, I got my finger on the lens there. That was terrible. Um, a little expensive, but it's a good... It's a good... It's a good purchase, you know. I got it for sixty-four dollars Canadian. Canadian dollars is probably like fifty U.S. dollars for people who live in the U.S., which seems to happen a lot. And um, I'm not. This tail is not supposed to blown off, but it, like it, comes off easy, kind of easy. The planes. The thing I'm really happy about this set. The planes are really sturdy. Like they're just. You know, you could drop them, and I don't even think anything will break off them. They're really solid. That one, maybe a couple things will break off. Other than that, it's a great set. I'll show you the back of the box here, like I said, I promise. Beginning of the review. It's got the airplane. It's got the German airplane. It's got that mine car chase set and Venice Canal chase. Probably going to do a review of that when I buy it. The new Indiana Jones Original Adventures game coming out. Um got him putting his dumb bag in the thing, shows the wings pop off, shows you press down the back windshield thing, which is kind of weird. And last but not least, I'll show you the manual. It's one manual, so I was surprised, I thought it might be two. It's fairly thick, how many pages are we talking here? Um, I'm not that many, it didn't take that long to build, it took like an hour. 
Oh, here, I'll show you all those weird multicolored pieces. Like, there's green, there's blue and red and all that. And I know you're thinking, oh, well, there's red in that. But there's green pieces, which is weird, and there's blue, and pretty much all of them are in the, that fighter. And total pages is 57 pages of building. And you build the airplane, or the uh, red airplane first, and it's numbered bags. Numbered bags. Just wanted to let you guys know that. I didn't know it was numbered bags when I bought it. Anyways, put the box back. It's been LEGO Review 360 with my first LEGO Indiana Jones.